Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Panzo6, and welcome back to Adrift. This is the third part of our Adrift Let's Play series, and I don't know how long it's going to take to beat this game, but we're going to try to beat it as soon as possible. Um, where we last left off is we're still stuck in space. We're trying to figure out what happened, what really went down. So, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see where we get to now. All right. So, today... I woke up this morning and I tested out the Steam Link for the first time, which was pretty interesting. The Steam Link is actually pretty nice, uh, though it does have its problems. Um, a lot of it has to do with latency. Manual activation required for outgoing communications to mission control. Okay. Communications array repair override enabled. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go line this array. Well, try to, anyways. Still getting used to the controls, but you know it's not too bad. Anyways, I've been testing out the Steam Link, which uh, they had it on sale recently for the cool price of thirty four ninety nine compared to its usual price about $49.99 and it's kind of a mixed bag it's not terrible um, I think it's actually a better better than just going out and buying a steam machine which honestly if you're gonna buy a steam machine you might as well just buy a PC but anyways if that's something you're into if you like the um, if you like playing your games and you on Steam and you just decide, hey, I'd rather go sit on my couch and play some games and use my Steam library, your best option is probably going to have to be the Steam Link. It actually is pretty nice, um, but you are going to have to have a decent network to run this thing, which that's not bad. I have a pretty good network. Uh, I have pretty fast internet, but I still experience some latency um, and just some some things I've had problems with was um, <laughs> if a game starts and it doesn't start properly you do have to get up off you know your couch and head to where your computer is and actually go fix the problem which has to be expected because the Steam Link all it really is is a um, you're streaming from your computer screen but I like it highly recommend it um, I was using the I have an Xbox controller that I uh, use for my PC uh, sometimes. Whenever I, maybe a platform or something comes out, I'll try using that. But it's highly worth it. Definitely check that out. I put a good half an hour. I played Skyrim of all things. Because why not play Skyrim? Uh, the game did run pretty fine once once the game was connected outside of the latency issues and the network drops. Um, I had no problems with the game actually running. Um, I mean, it played well. Um, I checked it out and did say it was running uh, ultra 60 frames per second, which that's fine too. Uh, you will notice some color wash out, which, you know... Again, that's to be expected. But I don't think, I mean, if... Let's see what you said. Okay. Okay. Man, what am I doing? I need to get more oxygen because I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, jeez. Well, you definitely got that. So, what you might notice my face is completely burnt. Uh, yesterday, I had to work outside. Um, as you guys know, I work for a major... Uh, <laughs> Major, 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 I guess, department store chain, 
that you guys may have heard of. And stood outside the whole time. My face is completely burnt. One of my arms is completely red and where I was wearing my sling yesterday. <laughs> it's still not that great. So I got one arm that looks terrible and the other arm's like, eh, you know. Uh, stop on! Just get off of that. Um, okay. Let's go back down here. Did I miss something? I'm definitely missing something. I feel as if you run out of oxygen really, really, really fast. Almost too fast to the point where it's kind of annoying. I did post a new um, review yesterday. Well, actually, it came out last late, late last night. That was for the Warcraft movie. If you're wondering if it's any good, definitely check that out. It might give you, you know, maybe a decent idea of what to expect if you're going to if you want to see Warcraft. My review, I didn't think it was terrible. It's spoiler free, so come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Just fucking go. But it wasn't terrible at all. Um, I, you know, the film had its problems for sure, but it wasn't necessarily a terrible film like the critics are saying. Um, okay. Come on, let's go back in here. Grab the oxygen and we'll go outside again. So I think that's one of your rays. I've been spending a lot of time watching um, Eternal Masters box openings. Not familiar with Magic the Gathering. They just released a new master set, which is actually pretty nice. Um, Manual communications complete. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Come on! I guess we're going to have to go there. This thing just knocks me, keeps knocking me back and forth. I hate this thing. What was I even talking about? Eh, I guess it'll come to me. Oh yeah, Eternal Masters. Um, yeah, Magic the Gathering, have a new set, just came out. Every year it seems like they release, which I'm fairly new to Magic, so... Um, they release a set of cards that desperately needs reprinted um, for things like um, modern, EDH, uh, vintage, stuff like that. And these boxes usually come around 24 packs compared to 36, but they have really expensive packs. Like uh, a single pack's about $10 MSRP, um, which it's almost like opening up a lottery ticket with these things because you could definitely there's definitely value um i wish i was able to show you guys uh the set maybe i can eventually get my hands on one i highly doubt it just due to the fact how expensive i think they're almost three hundred dollars for um it's either 250 or 300 almost 300 dollars for a um set of it which I'm sure you can get it cheaper. But they definitely have a bunch of really, really nice uh, chase rares and mythics. Hand for EVA suit critically damaged. I know. For EVA systems operating at 51%. But yeah, it's Hand great. For EVA emergency repair required. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Let's repair this thing. Let's repair it. All right, gotta get my suit repaired. Maybe that gives me an upgrade. I don't know. There's a lot still I don't know what's going on with this game. I'm not really disappointed with it. It's still a decent game. Oh, it's not perfect. That's to be expected. But yeah, uh... The uh, Eternal Master said, I've been watching Dirium, Boogie, and 
MTG headquarters, open these boxes and add yeah, some most most crazy crazy pulls. Okay. <laughs> Darium started a new uh, series. It's called Profit or Loss, as well as a Patreon giveaway where he gives the supporters of the Patreon channel packs. Uh, he'll open it up four of it, four at a time. Those four packs will go to um, the Patreon supporters. <laughs> One of the cards he opened up just blew my mind. I haven't seen anybody open any of these. Well, I've seen a, a non-foil version of it, but he opened up a Force of Will foil, which it's around three hundred some dollars, which basically paid that single card paid for that whole uh, box. Which that's the thing about magic. You can sometimes come out really, really good with this stuff. Um, if, if you haven't checked if you don't you never heard of Magic the Gathering, if it's something you're interested in, I check those channels out and also check out my friends over at the Goblin Traders. Uh, they do uh, streams all the time, as well as they have an awesome shop there in Ironton, Ohio. Um, I used to do a lot of work with those guys, um, doing things like Card Shop Life and, you know, did a lot of drafts and box openings for them. So they're definitely worth checking out, and that's not a paid promotion or anything. It's just generally those guys are my best friends in the whole world, and, you know, I think they deserve getting checked out. So check them out. That's something you guys are wanting to check out. Because, like I said, Magic Together is really, really fun. Uh, I've only been playing it for a little over a year now. Um, and I'm finally, finally getting the hang of it, so. Okay, come on. She says, when do you get in these tight spaces? That's when you start having problems. Um, I think we got one more left. And even more so now. There is no strife, no prejudice, no national conflict in outer space as yet. Its hazards are hostile to us all. Let's go ahead and get us some oxygen real quick. And the opportunity for peaceful cooperation may never come again. This mission. All right, so next thing we need to do is get to our, okay, maybe, yeah, we'll just go this way, go through the door back where we came, good, it, ah, <laughs> damn it, like I said, the game's not perfect, let's have some problems, mainly just due to the, um, does depict low gravity pretty well, but I'd imagine it's pretty accurate how that would be, but you do <laughs> it is get quite annoying. The stumbling and falling and Oh come on Keep breaking my damn suit. Alright, so I probably have to repair my suit again. Cause I'm getting all kinds of messed up. I, I'd say yeah, it's just probably pretty accurate what low gravity would be like. Just bumping in all over things. Alright, we'll go fix it. We'll fix the problem. First problem is the heightening the oxygen. Really bad. Maybe I can get it here. Can you give me oxygen in this thing? Surely, if it's going to repair it, it's going to give me oxygen. And it does. Thank you. Thank you very much. For EVA repair sequence complete. Vital sign stable. Do do do. Warning. Hand for administra. Series four. Version two point three. 
Uh huh. I know, we're working on it. I'm trying to do as fast as I can. Jeez. Let's say this robot's pretty. Well, the AI on board seems to be pretty damn pushy. Going as fast as I can. I think the last magic set that I opened, I opened up a. I think a couple fat packs worth of Oath of the Gate Watch, which. Oath is actually not bad. Um, still, if you're. The things you're chasing the most in these sets are. Um, mainly just the expeditions. I wouldn't recommend right off buying a booster box at any of those sets. But they're, they're still fun. Um, opening up a booster is never bad. You know, I, I still have, you know, if you get a chance, if you can get one cheap enough, um, check one out. Um, I guess the best ones I would recommend at this point still probably be Zendikar, maybe Oath. That's just to get try and give you a chance to get the Expedition Lands. But there's still plenty of sets um, holding value. Uh, Fate Reforged. Um, let's see what else? Gods of Tarkir. Just mainly to get your fetch lands, but at the end of the day, it boils down to it. If you're going to play Magic, um, buying, buying, you know, boosters or anything like that's usually not the best idea. So if you want to buy a deck or something, the best thing to do is just buy your singles, and it's usually cheaper. Plus, you can get what you need without having to collect a bunch of garbage. Because you're not guaranteed the best cards from a pack. I mean, I've opened up a sh pretty shitty boxes, and I've opened up some really good boxes, so, I mean... It really just depends. Teresa? Alright, so we gotta go up here. This should... Should finish our thing. Hopefully. Personal log. Astronaut. Lopez. Teresa. 23. October. 2036. The Kong are so powerful. They attract and amplify random sat transmissions that interfere and broadcast over EVA comlink during spacewalks. So that's number three. You are totally alone, detached from all humanity. Suddenly, with a distorted glitch, you are transported to a baseball game in China, or a Vietnam War protest in 1967, or a police surveillance drone over the islands of Los Angeles. Random moments of life, millions of them from all over Earth. Alright, so that makes the third one, so that should get us... At least communications should be back up. As long as we don't break our suit again. Come on, just get away from this damn thing. Annual communications complete. Yep, because I'm awesome. I've been, been been going through like a bunch of old YouTube videos that I've done in the past. I've noticed. I mean, you guys can let me know if I'm wrong, but I've noticed that there's definitely a change in conf confidence from where I first started to where I am now. I kind of I feel a whole lot more comfortable making videos and being in front of the camera as before. I was pretty terrible, which I'm not saying I'm. Good. I'm not saying I'm really good at all. Just saying. I think I'm a whole lot better than I was. Okay. But it's always it's always kind of cool to go back, look at your old videos, and just kind of see where you were, and how you are at this point. And I, I'm hoping maybe a couple years from now, say if the channel ends up taking off. We can take a look back, maybe compile a terrible montage of <laughs> just that. Hmm. 
Alright, we're online. Vocalist communication arrays online. Unable to establish outgoing communications to mission control. Okay. Well, that's not cool. Alright, so I guess we're going back. I guess maybe go through here, I guess. I think I should be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get oxygen just in case. You never know when you're going to need oxygen. going on here? So does it not want me to go that way? I guess it just want me to go out the window. Alright. I can't go out the fucking window! Ah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. I can just go through here. That might work. So what's the next game do you guys would like to see uh, once we finish this game? What's the next one you would like to see? Um, I have plenty of games. Probably if you say if you, you know, say it or put it in the comments, I most likely have it. Or I may be able to buy the game just depending on how much money I have. Okay, I definitely can't use that one. Hey, there it is, I think. Is this it? Oh my god, where am I supposed to go? I have no clue what I'm supposed to do in here. Where's, where's, where's the oxygen? I am gonna die. Oh, there it is! Watch it! There we go. I do give this game props. The music and the ambiance is really great. It definitely does fit the game. There we go. Just need to go down this thing. Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do it by itself. Oh, so this is what the upgrades are. Alright. EVA thrust, 100%. Exit EVA diagnostic environment. Am I going to fix the mobility or anything? Initializing cerebrum core diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core thrust. Cerebrum core fabrication required. Initiate right. cerebrum core fabrication. Definitely does have the sci-fi, uh, the music is like sci-fi, um, old, old style sci-fi music like from the 80s. Kind of like Blade Runner and stuff like that. Initializing data transfer. Another game that did really good with Alice 2 was uh, Mass Effect. I think Mass Effect had one of the, probably the best soundtracks in the game. Okay, where do we want to go now? Okay, we're going back out. I'm assuming we're... Stop bumping into shit! Yeah, that's where we need to go. Okay. Ah! <laughs> don't, don't crazy. Encrypted internal data transmission received. 
Yep, we're Samuel. gonna die. Hawking. Samuel. Hardiman Aerospace Mission Director. Hey, hey, maybe not. We might not die. Come on. Just grab it. Grab it! Commander, your request to move hand four spirits into beta ahead of schedule is denied. While SO Huts is pre beta. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh my god, it's gone. Oh yeah, there it is. Cloud your judgment and lead to poor decision making. You must remain dedicated to our collective purpose. This is an effort to aid humanity. You are a small but important gear in a much bigger machine. Man Look at that. And above all else. Let me be perfectly clear. There is no scenario where deviating from plan is an option. Well, it looks like we already deviated from the plan big time, because just look at this mess. Big mess. It's all my fault. Okay, I gotta grab this. Come on. Like, the grabbing mechanic for the, like, the animation does, does fit it pretty well. Like, it kind of represents, like, a, a bit of a tension kind of... Um, where do I go? Oh god. Uh, is this where I go? Surely. Surely. Is. There we go. I think that's it. That makes sense. <laughs> Pay no attention to those <laughs> frame drops there. We are sub 30. Oh man. You can definitely tell we need an upgrade. What? What? Oh my, how am I gonna get in? Okay. Wait a minute. Come on, just get out. Oh my. Okay, I guess we're not able to get in that way. <laughs> but I can't get out. <laughs> just get out. Oh man, it's frustrating. Alright, so apparently we can't get in that way. Okay. Where else is there? I don't see another way to get in. I need to find I need to find out because if I don't, we're gonna die. Yep, we're gonna die. There's just no way around it. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. God Ah uh, shit. I know, I'm dead. There we go. There we go. Alright, well that does it for this episode. We made it a little bit further. We're getting there. We're slowly, slowly, but surely we'll make it to the end. But guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And like I said, there's some other content that I made this week. And there might be a couple more things before the week ends. Maybe tonight. Uh, we'll definitely try to stream tonight for sure. Maybe some Overwatch or maybe get the guys over the Goblin Traders and do some H1Z1. Again, my name is Panzo6. And I definitely appreciate all the support that you guys have gave me so far. And like I said, let's make this channel grow. And again, I love you guys. Thank you very much.